what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is cameron i create beauty fashion lifestyle and hygiene content here on my youtube channel so if you're interested in that make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn my post notifications on so for today's video i'm actually going to be sharing with you guys my self tanning routine with loving tan i have been self tanning for quite a while now i'm not super consistent with it but i try to be and honestly sometimes like i'm just lazy but when i do it i literally feel 10 times more confident like it literally just boosts my confidence so much because I feel like just being tan just makes you look good in every color it just makes you feel like just put together like I just love how I look when I self tan I'm also someone who does not like to like look too tan like I like to keep it very natural and subtle and I feel like loving tan allows me to do that in the best way possible I tried so many different self tanner brands and I feel like either some of them just don't dry down well they take forever to dry down and get all over everything they come out looking too dark they come out looking splotchy sometimes they come out just looking like nothing but loving tan i've just learned like over time trying so many different self tanning products that loving tan just always comes out looking the most perfect and most natural it doesn't look streaky it doesn't look too too overwhelmingly dark it is just so perfect so with loving tan i use shade medium in all of their products which has been working perfectly for me i know some people like darker tan so you can use shade dark if maybe you just want like smooth out your skin and you don't really want much color you can use the light shade but the medium shade is what works for me right now I don't really have anything on I had it tanned about like five days ago but I kind of scrubbed it off today but it is still on me a little bit because it can last for up to 10 days depending on if you're um, maintaining it well but I did like really try to exfoliate it off today because I just wanted to be able to show you guys how I self tan today so we're going to do it together but before we actually do it I am going to talk about some of the products really quick so the product that I'm going to be using today is the deluxe bronzing mousse in the shade medium this is actually my favorite product product from them which I've used for a while now so I'm like I really really love this I also like to use a mitt for this a tanning mitt so they actually sent me their loving tan tanning mitt and I'll just put a few pumps of this on the mitt and just put it on my skin which you guys will see the application process in this video so something cool about their mousses is that it contains high quality active ingredients that give you a natural brown olive color and it also contains DHA which is an ingredient that eliminate that orange tone so you never want to look orange when you self tan you always want a nice olive brown bronzy color and this tanner will never have you looking orange you can also add like more you can build up on it and stuff which is also nice so if you feel like it doesn't look dark enough you could always build on it but just remember that you do have to wait a few hours to let the tan sit in and it will show up more over hours so don't build up on it too much because I promise it will show up a few hours later another great thing about loving tans products is that the tan can last up to 10 days so I do notice with loving tan that my tan lasts a lot longer than it does with other self tanners but if you do want to get the tanner off you can just like really really explore hate your skin and use a dove soap and i've learned that like it definitely fades the tan so if you do need to get it off you can do that and then recently I got to try their deluxe face tan in the shade medium which I also really really love it's a very natural color and also it literally gives you an instant bronze color to your face like an instant tint to your skin so even if you put it on and you go out like it'll show up right away but it does still develop over time which is really nice and it's also buildable so if you realize it isn't dark enough you can obviously build on that as well I just apply with my fingertips but they say that you can go in with a makeup brush after after to really fix it up and you only have to use it every few days you don't have to use it every day also it doesn't feel heavy at all it's very lightweight and moisturizing so it doesn't feel like it's something too sticky or heavy on your skin and it also doesn't strip your skin which is really nice it gives me such like a nice subtle glow and I love how it looks when my face looks tan like it just makes me feel so confident just like I was saying before um but just having like a tan face like when you wake up in the morning it's like wow like I don't look washed out and like crazy so I really do like to tan my face and I really like using this and you don't even need an applicator like I literally use my hands for this so and then I also have a few more products from them I have their deluxe gradual tan nourishing tinted body lotion which is really really nice because I feel like it gives you like that moisture that you need while also tanning your skin and I feel like it comes out so nice like it's not super harsh it's very subtle and light and gives you like that nice natural glow and then I also have their bronze shimmer luminous cream which is instant color and a satin finish and natural glow which I have actually not used yet but I'm really excited to try that out so thanks to loving tan for sending me over these products I am so excited about these products so just starting off with my self tanning routine before I actually start self tanning I always like to start in the shower I believe that your self tanning routine starts in the shower with your 
prep so this is like the self tanning prep so I always like to hop in the shower and I will exfoliate my whole body so to exfoliate I use a sugar scrub and I'll sometimes use an exfoliating glove too sugar scrubs is what works the best I'll just put it on my hands and I will scrub my whole body and what exfoliating does is it actually gets rid of your dead skin and it just leaves your skin feeling super smooth and it allows the self tanner to actually apply on more smoothly so it won't look streaky and it'll just come out looking very natural and not only that but exfoliating actually preps your skin for shaving because it can loosen up your hair follicles to give you a cleaner and closer shave and that's what I was going to get into next that shaving before self tanning can be really helpful because it's actually a little bit easier to I feel like self tan on a clean surface that like not like hair you know I just feel like it comes out a little better because sometimes the tanner like gets like into the hair and it just looks weird so I always like to shave before I self tan as well and I won't shave without exfoliating first so first we got to exfoliate get all that dead skin off loosen up those hair follicles and then shave so that we have a nice clean surface to self tan on and then we are ready to start the self tanning routine which I'm actually going to get into now so as you guys can see I am showing you guys how I self tan on my legs this is the deluxe bronzing mousse that I talked about and it's a medium shade and I'm just taking a few pumps on my self tanning mitt and I like to kind of like fold the mitt a little bit to kind of spread the product over the mitt so it's not all in one spot and then I will just rub it directly on my skin I will start with the bottom of my leg in the front and I'll just rub in circular motions and then I'll kind of go upwards and go in the same direction just to make sure there's no streaks then I'll also do the same thing with the back of my leg and I'll also go upwards up to my thighs I do like to make sure around my knees and my ankles that I moisturize so that's another thing beforehand you don't want to put lotion on your whole body because it might not apply your tan as smoothly but you do want to moisturize the dry areas of your body so for me that is my ankles and my knees and my elbows and also um, my hands so I will also make sure to really focus on like actually really really spreading the product out evenly on those areas so it doesn't look crazy so after you self tan you usually sometimes smell like the self tanner but the really good thing about loving tan is that I don't feel like it has a really super strong smell and not only that another thing that I hate is getting self tanner all over my bed and stuff um, but I feel like with loving tan it dries down really nice so it doesn't get too much on your bed like compared to other ones however I still recommend putting on loose clothing after after self tanning so now I'm just doing my arms and like I said the elbows are also another dry area so I really focus on making sure that I'm not putting too much product there but that I'm spreading it really evenly and same thing with my hands usually my hands always get messed up too um, because I wash them and stuff so your hands are never gonna fully stay on like let's just be realistic but you know we're doing the best that we can so now I'm actually going to be self tanning my face with the deluxe face tan and I literally just take a little drop of this rub it between my, my hands and I literally just rub it on my face like it's lotion making sure to blend into my neck my hairline and my ears to make sure it's all evenly tan and I just feel like this gives me an instant glow like it just looks so nice and it also doesn't make me break out so I do really like that so once I finish my face tan I'm good to go like I said I will do the face tan sometimes before I'm leaving the house sometimes I'll even wear it under makeup honestly but usually I do like to do it right before bed along with my body tan and I like to do them both on the same day just to have a full nice self tanning day and then I'm good to go I literally will go out and lowy and bronze the next day and it just makes me feel so confident so pretty and just so happy so I'm just popping in really quick to let you guys know that if you want to receive a free tanning mitt with any purchase of a tanning mousse or gradual self tan make sure to use the code Cameron Hope at checkout on Loving Tan's website I absolutely love the Loving Tan products so so much I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys if you're trying to get into self tanning definitely I recommend Loving Tan if you guys have any other other questions about self tanning definitely feel free to ask me down below if this video helped you make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys